Engine 16, Spokane 21, respond 1818 East 3rd Avenue, reported structure fire. <laughs> We have uh, units here from City of Spokane as well as uh, surrounding jurisdictions and we're conducting multi-unit drills that simulate um, a mayday operation in where a firefighter or firefighters fall through the floor and are in distress. Realistic training is uh, critically important because it allows us to operate in a manner that is new and surprising to the firefighters. They don't know the house, they don't know what to anticipate, and therefore every action is like it would be in real life. So the conditions inside are just like they would have at a real fire. We use smoke machines and lighting tools that simulate where the fire is. Um, we let the smoke machine roll until we have water on the fire, which then we turn the machine off and provide the increased visibility uh, we would see in real life. The fires that we go to are not really any different, whether we have a civilian victim or even a uh, mayday situation when one of our own is trapped or in trouble. Um, we fundamentally still have to achieve all the benchmarks that we would at any given fire, which are extinguishment, search, ventilation, so the crews are uh, really enjoying this training. It's un something that they're not used to. We have a burn building, but most folks have memorized that burn building. Um, what we have been able to, to garner out of this um, operation is that there are some behaviors that we exhibit that people don't expect when we're going to save one of our own. Some, sometimes the fundamental tasks that we need to accomplish get missed. And so it's eye-opening when they display those behaviors and we hope to use that uh, for them to have better awareness about the tasks that have to happen at every fire.